Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna go to the Dollar Tree to try to find um, some equipment to go gold prospecting. And I don't wanna spend more than like five or six bucks. Let's see what we can find. So you don't have to go buy a real expensive prospecting gear or anything. Well, let's go here to Dollar Tree and uh, see what we can find here. That would work. Mm, not that good though. There's gotta be something better than that. We'll hold on to this just in case. This will work. Need some kind of strainer as well. Check the kitchen aisle. Check this out. See, even a little bucket like this, All you need to do is like cut some holes in the bottom and you got yourself a classifier. I mean, you take a drill bit, like an eighth inch drill bit and just drill a whole bunch of holes, quarter inch drill bit, whatever. You got yourself a classifier. If you don't want to do all that work, you just get one of these. That'll work as a classifier, I guess. I've only been in here for like two minutes. I just did a quick little walk around and already I've got like a nice little gold panning kit. Oh, we still need a pan, I guess, huh? Hmm, what's this? I don't know if I could pan gold in that. Maybe if I roughed it up with some sandpaper. What's this? Oh. I don't know if that would work. I need a plate. A plate would work good, maybe. Oh, check it out. Right there, classifier. Put this thing back. So this dollar store does not have the kitchen strainer that I always use. The closest thing they have is one of these little guys, which would work too, but did find a pan. That'll work great. We just gotta rough it up with some sandpaper or season it with some rocks in the river. That'll be perfect. All right, we need a snuffer bottle. You know what? I've decided to take two of these small buckets instead of this thing. These are a little more sturdy, they have a handle, and it's always better to have two buckets. So, pretty good so far. I don't think I'm gonna find a snuffer bottle. That's gonna be a little hard pressed to find something like that. I mean, I could get creative. I mean, even a water bottle would work for a snuffer bottle. You've seen me do that in Puerto Rico already. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. I mean, you can buy a little bit of dish soap as a surfactant, you know, if you wanted to get carried away. That way you have something to break the surface tension of the water so the gold doesn't float away. I didn't see any jet dry, but anything would work. Any surfactant would work, any soap. I think that's good. I think we're about the $5 limit. Let's find out at the checkout counter. $5.31, not too bad. $5.31, we got ourselves enough stuff to do a little bit of gold prospecting. Yeah, the shovel isn't great. I'm gonna bust my knuckles digging with that little piece of junk. It's probably gonna break. Let's go ahead and take this stuff out to the river. All right, well, I'm back in Colorado. Uh, that first half of the video was filmed in Utah, Provo, Utah. But I'm back in Colorado now. Um, I'm headed down to Arapaho Bar guaranteed to find some gold down here everybody does even if it's a few flakes I got all of my dollar store equipment here I'm pretty confident we're gonna find some gold um, I'm only gonna stay here for like five minutes I'm just gonna take a couple shovelfuls show you that the equipment does work you don't need to be rich to go gold prospecting somebody with five or six bucks in their pocket can actually go down to the dollar store and uh, get yourself some cheap old prospecting equipment. So something I'd like to bring up here at Arapaho Bar, I actually had to park at a different spot if anybody's familiar with the area. This is the Wheat Ridge Trailhead, like across the street. They're doing a whole bunch of construction over there at uh, the normal entranceway. Like the entire road's ripped up and everything, so I had to find another way in, but Arapaho Bar is still accessible but you have to walk under all this traffic. 
Okay, so we're not allowed to dig past the bridge this way, so we're actually gonna cross right about here. The water seems low enough. So the reason we have to cross is because by law, we're not allowed to dig on this side of Arapaho Bar, only this side. The reason being is uh, there's a walkway up here and a bike trail and stuff, and they don't want anybody, you know, people digging in on this side, cause erosion and damage the trail. So let's go ahead and cross right here. Right. Basically, we just pick a spot. You can see there's little dig holes everywhere. There's one right there. Let's just pick this spot. I'm not going to try like reading the river or anything on this dig. This is just a quick sample pan here. There's tons of placer gold here in Arapaho Bar. It's just really, really tiny. So the first thing I want to do is I want to season my pan. This has like factory oils and stuff all, who knows what else is in it, glue and stuff. So by seasoning the pan, I mean rough it up a little bit. Otherwise the gold's going to fly right out. So I'm just going to take a bunch of like dry rocks and do this for about five minutes or so. You can also do this with sandpaper, but I couldn't find any at the dollar store. So. All right, that's that's kind of seasoned, I guess. A bunch of little scratches and stuff in there. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, next we're gonna get uh, two buckets full of water. So we got our classifier here in one of the buckets. And our awesome little shovel. We'll do the best we can with it. I'm already busting my knuckles up. I guess I should say a classifier isn't even really necessary, but it does help a lot. Here's why I like to have two buckets. Makes it a lot quicker. All right. There's still some dirt on there. I think that worked pretty good. It got all the uh, smaller stuff out of there. And we'll just repeat that process until this bucket is about full, and then we'll just pan everything out. I mean, all you really need is a little shovel and a pan. Really, that's, that's all you need. The other stuff is just for convenience. Look at that piece of quartz right there. Nice shiny round piece. A nice white round piece of quartz. All right, I think we got enough material here to try to pan out. All right, let's see if this works. You guys know the drill, it's the same process as using regular equipment. You know, first stratify the material, get all that heavy stuff to drop to the bottom, including the gold and the black sands and the garnets and stuff. I'm just gonna pan it in this bucket here to make it easier for the camera to see. But look at that, we already have a nice line of black sands right there. Let's repeat the process, pan it down, and I guarantee we're gonna find a little bit of gold in here. 
All right, we're down far enough. Let's go ahead and spin it around, see if there's any gold in it. It's gonna be hard to see the gold since we have a silver pan. But I have a pretty good eye for it. I think we'll be able to find it. Okay, I actually don't see any gold in that first pan. We're not done with the bucket yet. I still have another half a bucket to go. All right, second pan, let's see how we do. Okay, let's spin this around and we'll see if there's any gold here. All right, there's actually no gold in that second pan. I'm gonna dig around a little bit. We're gonna find some gold. Um, I'll let you know when I do. All right, so I actually found a groundhog hole back there and there was a bunch of dirt and sand and stuff kicked out, so I grabbed some of that. You know, it's probably from way down deep in there. Never know what we're gonna find. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and classify it out and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find. Sun's starting to go down. Probably only have another 10 minutes, but that's all I'll need. Okay. A lot of black sand in that one. A lot of black sand, holy cow. All right, I don't wanna go much further. Once you get down to the black sand when you're panning, that's usually when the gold is gonna start showing up or if you continue panning, you might lose some gold. So that's why you wanna stop. I'm gonna pan this down and show you guys the results here. Look at all that black sand, that is a lot. I'd be surprised if there's no gold in this. Even if we don't find gold, I'm very confident that this little dollar store pie pan We'll absolutely get some gold, especially if I can get the black sands like this. You know, if you're really on a budget or if you're just trying to challenge yourself, I think this is a good way to do it. So I actually, I can see a small piece of gold right up here. I know it's not gonna show up in the camera. Let me take this stuff home. I'll go ahead and put it in a green pan so you guys can see. It's just a little piece of flower gold. Awesome. So it works. Okay, so I found some material over there near the shore. It was like mossy material. So that's usually a good spot to be guaranteed a few little flakes of gold just because it gets trapped in the moss like that. So let's go ahead and we'll pan it down. We'll see what we can find in here. I'm pretty confident there's gonna be a little flake or something here. Definitely some black sand along the edge here. That's a real good sign. Although we found some black sand before and there was no gold in it. And since there's no riffles um, in this pan, like a traditional pan, we gotta be really careful when we're panning. It's so only like dip it once or twice, bring it back, stratify again. No hurry. Even at this point, I would probably start spinning it to see if we got anything, so let's do that. So you're not gonna be able to see it in the camera, but I did see like two or three little, little pieces of flower gold come down. I'm starting to get dark here. I'm gonna take this home and I'll show it to you guys at home in a green pan where you can actually see it. But right there is proof that this works. That is a lead BB and it's staying right there at the top. So there you go, this process does work. Let's take this home, I'll put it in a green pan and you'll be able to see exactly uh, the little tiny flakes of gold I got. Doesn't really matter, I proved the process works, but everybody wants to see some gold. All right, I'll see you at home. Okay, so I know it's hard to see, but I'll zoom in for you right there. There's a few little flakes of gold that we were able to get. Not too bad for under five bucks in five minutes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.